on Tech Guy Application. This is the one and only Tech Guy. And today we're going to be looking at using Final Cut Pro as a scratch disk, or a NAS box as a scratch disk for Final Cut Pro 10. So I've got my NAS box, which looks something like this. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly this one, but I've got a 2 terabyte hard drive in there. So you can see here's my here's my uh, NAS box, here's the volume one, and here's the file that I've already created, but I will show you how to make one. So the first thing we need to do is launch disk utility. So if you just type in disk, it should come up. Press enter, it'll launch. And then you're presented with all the drives in your computer. So, and all their partitions. So you wanna hit new image, this will pop down. Save as, I'm going to call it Final Cut Pro. Name, Final Cut Pro. Size, you want to hit Custom. And select the amount of space that you have available on your drive. So I'm going to hit uh, 2 ter it's 2 terabytes. But for this, I'm going to hit 2 kilobytes just so that it's a little bit quicker. Um, and then you want to hit, make sure it's Mac OS Extended Journaled. Otherwise, it won't work. And you want to make sure that single partition, Apple partition map is selected. And read and, or you want sparse bundle disk image so that it'll dramatically change as you use it. So you can save, you can change where to set it and hit, just hit create. It'll take a second to format. So now that it's formatted we can quit disk utility. And if we bring, go onto the desktop, here's my here's my sparse bundle and here's my mounted one. So it's got nothing in it but you can you can create new folders and they're inside the sparse bundle. So, if we, so the next thing you want to do is you want to eject it. And then you want to, here's my, here's my NAS box. So I'm going to copy this one. This is the one that I just created. I'm going to move it onto the NAS box. So now when you write something into the sparse bundle, then it actually gets written to the NAS box. So you can see it copying right here. This other one's the one for my that I made before, so it'll copy like that. And then you can basically when it's done you basically mount it. I don't think it'll mount because it's not quite done copying. but you mount it and then you can open it in Final Cut Pro and put your events and and um, movies on that. So, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.